unbelievable the amount of reaction you're getting from people that you wouldn't even think would know what's going on with regards to football and how you're doing. But there's a big rep buzz about the town. People, that's all people talk about. Just how was the match? How was how the lads? How was the preparations going? You, meet, you walk up the street or you drive up the street and people just wave at you and shout at you, good luck Sunday, good luck Sunday, and you better do the business Sunday and all this. <laughs> it's a great reaction to get off people, but even from the supporters' point of view, they've been unbelievable. We've been trying to continue what we've been doing all along. The, the biggest thing we've been working on at all times is retaining possession work right off the ball and physically there's no big push on the training because the guys are as fit as they're going to be now and anyway. We realise that if we dropped our work rate at all, that any team, no matter who they are, can get in and get upset you and can get the ball off you and make life difficult for you. It's very hard from a point of view of looking after them for training. Do you keep pushing them? Do you keep running them? Do you keep asking them to attend training? So we try to be as flexible as possible with them and give them a break as much as they need. And for them to be going constantly and playing at the top level of football, you know, they've got to get up in the morning and go to work at the end of it. The, and they're still 20, 21 years of age, and at that age you want to start to enjoy yourself as well. Yeah. So it's very hard to combine everything, but they've done very well to do what they've done so far. So football is a simple game. If you play it simple, keep it simple, do the simple things properly and do them well, it makes the game a lot easier. It's hard work to get that into fellas, but we've got the players of the quality that can do that. We're very lucky in that way. Ardalise themselves have been great because um, there's been a lot of hype and we've a lot of talk about it and the lads themselves have realised that there's nothing yet won. You know, we haven't got in we've got to a final. You can get to finals and you can lose them. All the good work you've done before that then has gone out the window. So all the lads on the team are they're great friends among themselves. You know, they've grew up together, they've yeah. played football together, you know, they drink too much together, but they do drink together. <laughs> and, uh, some of them work together, you know, so it's great that there's no one person on the team that sort of stands out on his own or that sort of doesn't mix in. They all mix in, so. The last time Westport team got to the semi-final was 1968-69. There was a team with likes to show with and Chris Kane and a few guys like that. And to actually win the cup itself is at the moment, it's just a dream and if we realise it, then in years to come you can look back and you can have a little quiet smile to yourself and say I was involved with that team or I was part of that setup that won that cup. Take care. That's your ticket, Nod. Huh? That's your ticket. No, I'm going down on the, on the bus. I'm going to see more for the country. I'm closing my bum all Saturday evening. Good stuff. Take me out! Well, I wish everyone the very best of tomorrow, especially the team, and, uh, to 
get this fair has been unique. Like, so hopefully we'll do it tomorrow. So all the people on the bus have a very enjoyable weekend. So all I'd like to say is that uh, the best look for the team. <laughs> we'll help God will be home on the afternoon tomorrow night. So, uh, everybody has a great weekend. Win or lose, we're going to enjoy ourselves. Nick, I'd like to say two words. All the time. Session on. Cough. Oh, yeah. Michael. We, we, we actually have a couple of supporters uh, here from Liverpool. They came all the way from Liverpool to support Westport, like, you know, so. We had the choice of Istanbul or coming over to watch Westport and we chose Westport. So that oh. <laughs> Baby, give us some of that. It's in the amount of people who was down at the other games like we in Dublin and down in Cork and Limerick twice. You see the support that was down there, like there was well over a thousand people most of the game. So we'll mm. see we'll be looking at two thousand for this game. <laughs> looking big, but good feeling, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully not, they're all different too in Limerick. We'll all stay out tomorrow. <laughs> Everyone in town is together, like there's a great push going around, everyone's in good form. You can hit me now with a shovel and I start laughing at you. I've been in all the competitions, but I've never seen so much excitement about a match in my life. And it's just a fire to come. Talk about me all winning all out no go. West Wick and I win this during the cup. It was a race in the fourth time for the town. You wouldn't swap your life for it, but you go off to us, but it means a lot that it's worth it. There are people who maybe aren't impressed ahead compared to, to most of those extremes to get to the night. It shows you what it means. Yeah. So you might lane one there tomorrow, and I want a, a half a heart. That's right. And, well, yeah. I have to watch the excitement part, but I wouldn't miss it. Yet. Three times to Limerick, once to Dublin, once to Cork. Now down to the Kenny, why you want for it? Special train going on, full of special people, old and young. The people from, there'll be three year olds on that train and there'll be 93 year olds on that train tomorrow. Tough team, tough opposition. Good opposition, I mean, they're not, they're not there on flukes. They play a seven or eight long, same as the Westport had. And they don't win every match by luck. You have to have a certain amount of skill and a certain amount of determination. But I even out that Westport on their day are more than capable for any other side of the Oh, hey, that's the way you should be. We saw you going down the street and we said to Michael, yeah, I have to get this man. Yeah. Porrick Kelly, how are you doing? Not too bad. Porrick, you going to the match tomorrow? Yeah, I'm pretty good. Porrick, what does this mean to you if Westport get to this stage of this competition? Lifetime ambition for everybody. The fight is tough. So Regardless, one way or the other, it's history, lads. For all the good tonight and men that went before you. Are you taking the train, Tom, are you? Are you taking the train? Oh, no, we're hitting one more road out. Yeah. We're hitting off, Tom. Yeah, we're hitting off, Tom. Are you going down to the match, John? No, I'm not even to shout. They won't let me bring in a book of the stones into the match and say, and not to be able to shout abuse that a limited referee would be hell. <laughs> First kind of cup match I saw, and the one was 1942. 1942. Uh, yeah, I was going to school and uh, uh, arrived in Monday morning, and we duly got six laps in each end for going to a soccer match. <laughs> <laughs> didn't do you much good. Uh, it didn't no, stop you. I never learned me anything. <laughs> <laughs> Not that they had any brains anyhow. We usually sit on them. We've grown, we've grown up with soccer at the key. This is the ultimate fight. You've been 
to a lot of the matches or all the matches, all the cup matches? Over the last almost 50 years. This will be Westport's finest hour. This will be, that's for sure, will be, because there has been a lot of good days as well, and today is, or should I say tomorrow, will be the day. And please God, everything will work out well. And then the warrior of the parish. For anyone that's ever put on the booth for Westport, it's very, very special. The people that have gone, they used to go into a pub in this town. I, I remember sitting down with a lot of guys that are now gone to a, a better place, I suppose, if you like. And all they wanted to see, the like having the World Cup, all they wanted to see was the Junior Cup on the table. Are you going to the match? Michal is going on our behalf. Is he? Yeah. You give, him, give us our blessing and all that. If you're in the Kilkenny area tomorrow, a reminder that the FAI Junior Cup final takes place at Buckley Park. Kickoff is at 3 o'clock and it puts uh, Waterford Crystal up against Westport United. And for once, I don't have to be unbiased in my hope that the Colbys do it for the first time in their history. So the best of luck to everybody down at Buckley Park tomorrow. taking a long time and I'm sort of delighted for them. And uh, yeah, in the past we got to the semi-final and we, we sort of we beat them at home. Uh, that was great, it was a great occasion. And, uh, I think they deserve it. Frank, you weren't even supposed to be at the match today. You were supposed to be photographing the wedding, I believe. Oh, yeah. Uh, you should get your priority right from this morning, so I decided I'd get to the wedding. And I'm just thinking, like back in my time, uh, it would have been good players, but a lot of them would have had to go away. So uh, thankfully, at the moment, you know, over the lads don't have to go away anymore. Uh, I think mean, that has been a big uh, plus for the club. Great okay. It's great to see everyone around. Hopefully, the boys will do the business on the pitch now. We'll mother of all sessions the season back in. Thank you, Mike Westport. Please, God. We're not running the second best for sure. It's going to cap all the previous 40 achievements in the town. So that's that's uh, that's uh, that's very good. Today is the win, you know. They're going to be legends. Even though they get the final, they've done well. But today is the win. Today, they're going to be legends. Do you reckon we'll be going to hammer these? Yeah, I'm glad to be going up tonight today to see what's going on. And hopefully, they will win it. And the best luck. How are you? This is the day. How are you? This is the day. And you do, and I talk to you, I talk to you there. It's been the greatest thing for everybody. It's because the difference is going to make the world for it, and it is. And that was for town, you won't be paid to anywhere. They are really good looking, have fabulous people. It means good to me because I'm a proud to be a Westbrook man. I'm proud of my town. I'm proud of the people that live here. What else can I say? It was on the committee in 87 when we uh, won the Connor Cup. The Connor Cup and Jerry was on the committee. And you remember that in 87, the boys on the north, Ed and, Ed and Jerry has done an off hour work for West Ham United over the years. And also, like, to be fair to Ed and Jerry, the Convert Park was the most successful fight of sight in the country. You know, you have you, the matches there in the Convert Park. At the final, you know, five or six hundred people watching the seven side, eh? and people are going to kill themselves to win the five side. Thanks to these two boys, you know, they're rather popular than. But Ed was on the 87 team, mate. Eh? Put your hands together for Ed Hardy. Yeah!
companies and that has big companies and uh, they can afford a lot more things than West Virginia can. But, uh, they've got to where we are, in spite of all the hassle and objections and everything else, I think we're doing very well. Proud. Peter, you've been supporting West Virginia for, for 50 years now. Oh, over 50 plus. This is, what does it mean to you? It's been oh, so long is, coming. One more waiting for. That's it. Yeah. Oh, sorry, we'll have the cup over. This is the gold cup of soccer. So it's the best one. Think of all the old characters that That's support the West Virginia. They're all dead and buried. That'd be good. So they'd be very, very proud. Yeah. yeah, it's an nostalgic kind of a day, all right. Yeah. 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 Were you on the last train that comes up to the death zone? No, in 1956. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, uh, I was at the match floor in Westport with the Drew. Drew. And your man from Bulsa Bank in the Gold. Yeah, Jim Cordy. And Billy uh, Hopkins was brought over. How do you feel? Oh, too bad. You know. <laughs> Hopefully, we'll be done. It's the whole thing. <laughs> what will it mean to you if they win? And what will it mean to you if oh, West Virginia? Best thing in my life. Best thing in my life. It's history. What did you do with the Mary Cup? <laughs> I had to speak to you. It's been a long time for you. A lifelong dream. Will we do it? I say so. It's 3-1. 3-1, three one. Three one, is it? Do you have money on it? I do. I think so. I wait for Certainly not here for Brinda by any means. No. But uh, that doesn't trouble us too much. We're, we're, we're well used to travelling and we, 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 we play well away from home and we're going to do it today. Officials mentioned, I want to say, well done. And uh, particularly, I'd like to say to all the young people who have travelled in their hundreds today to see West Virginia United. I hope their dream comes true that they'll be here on the day when actually West Virginia United won the FA Cup for the first time. Bring it home, bring it west of the Shannon. Welcome to Buckley Park. Here we go, folks. you 
Ray Kennedy, congratulations. Thank Willie you. FAA Junior Cup. Brilliant. How do you feel? Absolutely, on top of the world. You beat this week. On top of the world. It's unbelievable. Can't believe it. Great game. I don't know what to say. It's too long to get on Sam. Congratulations. Thank you. 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 Thank we got ahead when we just kept it. I suppose we got the early goal, what we want, but we're looking from there on in. Great move. Yeah. I, I worked well. I tried to keep it down, play it along the floor, like, I worked for catch or something. Hey! Mr. Gorsuch here in Westport at the foundation this day. Westport was obviously our best soccer town, and we were there today, and we won it in style. A great day for Westport. Two former chairmen. Two former chairmen. We saw good days and bad days, but this was the greatest day, Noah. Brilliant day. something like the first team to do this in Juniors Cup, first side of car after whatever it was, since 1941. History will tell us after a while what it was, but at the moment we're just going to enjoy it. Fantastic to see the, the crowd and the people who are here, it's just unbelievable. Great day. So happy for our players, and I'm so happy for their families, and I'm so happy for all the people that helped get us to where we are today. People that started this club 100 years ago, people that gave those guys a chance when they were 10 years of age, people that never got the limelight or the credit like we're getting it, but played equally as important a role as we did, and it should never be forgotten. Desi O'Malley scored the first goal for Westford United. Yeah. Congratulations. Thanks Great very goal. much. Yeah, I was lucky enough, got a little deflection, but we'll take that. It was a good start to the game, and it's what we wanted. We wanted the early goal because. That's what we've been looking for all year, and we've got it in this match, and that said it's on our way to allow us to play football, so we're very happy with it. Go to point on a wet Thursday night when everyone else is sitting at home. That's what the hard work has done. But these guys can live with the knowledge that they've had a Junior Cup medal in their pocket. They've won it the hard way. Nobody can ever take it off them. Yeah, we always believed we were good enough to win it and on, uh, on a football pitch, and we believed it right from the start. We look back and it'll sink in in a few years, a few weeks, time, a few days, time we see the papers and we, we get back into Westport, it's going to be an unbelievable party hopefully. So we'll enjoy it. I hope everyone else enjoys it. It's going to be a great day, a great week in Westport. Can we get, convince the guys to keep the bars open all night? I, look, I'm giving an unofficial open time tonight till 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. Good on you, Mick. Good on you, Mick. Fair play to you. It's a beautiful I told you yes for the reward. If the boy plays the football, no problem. You can sit with the lads of Marvis, who won the plan for Joe Lawless is outstanding. The young Cameron's goal is superb. Everything in the pitch is 100%. Absolutely brilliant. It's all there for the reward. Sure, a half a Kobe. <laughs> still wondering if this boy's a Kobe or not, is he? Is he a Kobe? Is he a Kobe? Is he a Kobe? An American Kobe. Is he a Kobe? An American Kobe. We'll look across the back door. We'll adopt everybody tonight, Jenny. Anyone who let the last free is a Kobe. The Lord said today, I mean, it's just magic. I woke up this morning, I woke up this morning, I woke up this morning, White teeth, not the tree, bag of nerves. I'm still not right. I really am not right. It hasn't hit me in all yet. My sport said to me, said, it'll be Wednesday, man. It'll be Wednesday. Bro. And that's the bottom line, it'll be Wednesday. I'm looking forward to match COVID then. And we'll see what happens when we match COVID. And it should be an I think it, really, I think I've run on the trail either. Just nothing's hit one of the We won 2 now, got the cup, bit of a cheer, on the train. Crack is pretty good, like. It's, it is good, but I think people are just exhausted the whole experience. And tomorrow, not on tomorrow, up the point. What is the definition of a cold? Oh my, come on. I, nobody knows that. Nobody knows that. That's a secret. Because if you told that, then everybody would know. And then people could claim that the COVID is not COVID. The definition of a COVID is no. 
it's just not home. It'll be like a big coffee just this thing was a move, but we had a bit of fresh water. I tell you something about it. My, all my life, something I wanted to do your cup coming to coming to work. And it has been. And I I admire those doing that. My heart. Nineteen fifty seven. Have you ever thought you'd see the day for it? No, I didn't. You heard about football? Oh, you have now. Thank God. I'm very happy. I'm very happy. I'm very happy. We want to play football. Good football. It's the way it should be. On the ground. And I believe they've just carried the cup to Castle Shannon. So I'm delighted to hear that they're way ahead of us. So the celebrations will be on Westwood by the time I think this train gets in. And I have to thank the Westwood Club as well for organising the train because I'd say most people on the train wouldn't have made it to the penny before the train was available to them.
yesterday, it didn't happen last week, or it didn't happen last year. They've been nurtured and brought along. And tonight, I don't want to go down the way and thank them, everybody and anybody. There'll be more time for that later. But tonight, especially, I feel that we have to thank two men who were involved all the years with the club and with most of these players, and that's Aidan King and Joe Kennedy. If I can, I just want to talk about my team for a minute. These bunch of lads to the left of me, right here, all Westport lads, all local lads, have taken the Junior Cup back to Westport. Us lads believe in each other. There's nobody else. No matter. People on town doesn't come this safe, right? We've great opportunity for nobody's just great opportunity. It's something that would actually stick to you for the rest of your life. It's just pure raw emotion. full 
I traveled each and every highway and more, much more than this. I did it my way. <laughs> It's hard to put it into words, but I cried when the final whistle went yesterday because Probably all the years I've been involved in soccer and involved with a club like Westford United. You know, we reached the pinnacle yesterday, winning the Junior Cup. I remember back to the late 60s, selling little ribbons in the sport park. And the Junior Cup matches were on when you had the big, the, the big teams, as they were called, coming to Westford. And yesterday, we were the biggest team of all. You know, we've set, we, we, we've set the standard now. We can prove that a team from the west of Ireland, from Mayo, Connacht, can win junior football. You know, the coaching, you know, the work that Porrick and Kevin has put into it. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm involved with the Arkham League, you know, it's a professional league, but talking to the players, the way, you know, their preparation, the way everything was organised for them, it was just like, you know, playing professional football. Happy hours, you know. See everyone down there? That's a great day. Good day. Crew and Pike were two good performances, probably the best of the, the whole campaign. And today as well was good. Well, yesterday was good. <laughs> against, uh, <laughs> who were we yeah. playing again? <laughs> <laughs> what are we against? That's them. Uh, yeah, that was, that was a good performance too. We won, like, so was, that had to be good. A win's a win. To bring it over the channel when no one else can, the likes of Merview, Casabar Celtic, anyone in Sligo, no one can do it, but Westbrook United did it. And the reason they did that, as I said, is because the players are such a close-knit team spirit, everything. Support is behind us. There's no team in the county that has support like we have. Well, it's something you dream about. It actually is. You're thinking, like, once, as a junior player, it's the pinnacle, like, so. It's something you dream about, and it's just, I can't take it any moment. Something different when it's, when it's a hometown, it's different, because it's just home pride. It's just everyone is together. Everyone knows each other. Everyone is doing it for each other. And that's what, that's what brings it together. If it, was, if it was money involved, right like that, it wouldn't have happened. It's just that it's pride. Here's to our boys. <laughs> <laughs> the record show.